other YouTubers get hate because of their YouTube schedule. 90% of YouTubers don't have a schedule. <laughs> they just upload nilly willy whenever they want and that's where I'm at right now. I no longer upload daily at 1 p.m. and I'm, I'm sorry for that. And it's not because I've reached 80,000 subscribers. It's, it's nothing like that. It's because I am going through some mental issues that I don't want to constantly share. And even if I wasn't going through these things, it's almost like, you know, I don't really do much throughout every single day. I don't. So a day that I'm going to stay home, what am I going to really film for you guys? A lot of people don't realize it, but daily vlogging is a mental struggle. It's very mentally challenging. A lot of people don't get that. So annoying. I know. I'm so annoying. I love it. So in this video, I'm going to be eating Trisha Paytas inspired, but it's so funny. Like I'm going to title it that like Trisha Paytas inspired, but honestly, that's what I always was eating from Burger King. Okay. This is the wrong place to pull over. Okay. This is what the sandwich looks like. Um, I had to pull for the thumbnail. But that's some white meat. Like, if other YouTubers are friends with their ex, like, it's cute. And that's what people are rooting for. They're like, oh, yeah, be friends with your ex, yeah. But then the minute Amberlynn Reed does it, it's a all-out show. Like, it's literally whatever. I just... I'm tired of living for YouTube. I'm going to start living for myself. And if you don't like what I post on YouTube, and if you don't believe what I post on YouTube, and if you don't believe my life and my story, that's on you. That is literally on you. Because I'm so tired of seeing other YouTubers go through the same thing where people just like literally don't believe them about anything. It's just insane. YouTubers aren't this like fake glorified life. Like... No, like when we go through real things, we're going through real things. Like it's, I know a lot of people like Zachary because I have a very big hate fan base, if you will. And he does commentary on my videos and it's never really nice. So he does have a really big support system. So I know, I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate on this video and a lot of people are going to very much dislike this video because that's what happens. He gets a lot of love for doing reacting videos about me, but the fact that I'm going to be reacting to him, people are going to be upset about it, but that's okay. That's kind of reality of how YouTube is. It sounds freaking insane, doesn't it? I am so inspired by so many people and everyone does things so differently. Like obese to be says it, says it all. Losing weight happens in the kitchen. Fitness happens in the gym. Which, by the way, once I get to a certain weight, I think I'm going to join the gym again. A new rumor I saw today was that the emotional side of your videos are a call to destiny. I don't know what that means. I am... My videos... <laughs> I'm going to be real, real right now. My videos have nothing to do with destiny. And in any shape or form. I don't know why people are so hung up that I still love her when one, I never talk about her on camera or anything like that. I just think that's so crazy to me that like, I can't still have a friendship with an ex, but I see all these other YouTubers who do and it's totally fine. They're like hanging out with their exes, having the time of their life and like everyone's totally fine with it. But like when me and Destiny are still friends, like people have such a big issue and they're like, oh my God, Amberlynn's still in love. Oh my God, it's so weird that they're hanging out. Like it's so double standard and it makes no sense. No one's in love with anyone. Dana and Destiny are in love. Becky and I are in love and that's it. I hate when people, this is hard, but like hard. Ooh, daddy. I hate when people, <laughs> I'm repeating myself. When people, on in the comments or messaging me they say why do you moan when you eat mm -mm -mm. first of all 
I do not do that in like real life. It's just to heighten the mukbang experience. And not only that, y'all, I haven't seen a single mukbang video where someone didn't do that. I have quitted Vlogmas and I know a lot of people are very upset with that and I understand like call me a quitter all day long, call me a loser and a failure, like I don't care but for my mental health I couldn't do it. I feel like for me to choose mental health over the satisfaction of uploading every single day and the satisfaction through super sweet supporters and the money it was bringing in, I feel like the fact that I chose my mental health first is really big for me and I'm proud of that. I understand a lot of people were upset that I quit Vlogmas because getting daily uploads from your favorite YouTuber or just someone that entertains you on the daily is super exciting because I also am a viewer and I have had a lot of my favorite YouTubers quit Vlogmas this year or take breaks because of mental reasons or personal reasons and so many other supporters were understanding and their comments were filled with love and compassion and sympathy and I didn't get that, which really surprised me. I'm so confused with this one. So I think what you mean by I'd leave my man in a second and how Becky should, should grow some balls is because I am friends with my ex. So I just want to say that Becky is also friends with a few of her exes. And there are so many other people that we all look up to or we enjo all enjoy watching who also are friends with their exes. Trisha, Sean, David, Liza... Shane, Lisa, Pink Sparkles, and Dalton. I mean, I can probably go on forever. Oh, Zaddy, Chunk Chunk, and Nicole, of course. Oh my god, I love them so much. Like, there are so many people who are still friends with their exes, and those are just people, like, I can think of that, like, everyone knows, or at least I assume that you guys know, and everyone is totally fine with that. They're like, oh my god, you guys are so cute. It's so wonderful that you guys can, like, stay friends. But just because me and Destiny are friends, like, everyone has an issue with that. And I just truly, I cannot figure out why. What I do, no matter literally what I do, I'm going to be attacked. You know, and I'm, it's like, I asked for a second chance years ago, you know. And it's like, people can't get over what happened years ago and they keep holding on to what happened years ago yeah i see other youtubers who have done horrible things that i can't even like put into words i literally cannot put into words and they still have love and support and i'm just like so confused why there's such a double standard and it's like I literally feel defeated. Like I no longer know what to do. I I feel completely at an utter loss for words. I the comments have almost made me feel like I'm not a person. That you don't make enough money and that's why you have roommates. This is another double standard that I see on YouTube a lot. I live with roommates not because of the money situation. I can promise you that I have enough money to live on my own 100%. I live with roommates because it's fun and the more people I live with, the better. I honestly don't like being alone, like at all. And the double standard I see is that there are YouTubers who make millions, millions of dollars a freaking year, which is not me, and they're a lot older than me actually. Sure, Jan. And they have roommates and everyone loves it. But just because Amber Lynn has roommates, that's like a bad thing. I don't understand that. So a lot of people keep saying that like, I hoard clothes. Definitely not. I have a small closet and that's that. Like, there are other YouTubers out there who have closets and closets full of clothes and people don't attack them. But anyways. Um, because... 
I might come on here one day and have, you know, I was thinking Subway. Um, I don't want people to look at the video and be like, that's how she eats the whole time. And there are people who do move bongs and lose weight, like um, Steven, love you, by the way. Um, he's doing a weight loss now and while um, doing move bongs. But so proud of him. Um, and I know he did it last year too, where he was doing mukbangs and losing weight. Um, Zaddy, Chunk Chunk, and Nicole, of course. Um, Nicole has lost so much weight. I will succeed if I choose weight loss over mukbangs, not mukbangs over weight loss. So what I mean by that is me choosing weight loss over mukbangs is me still filming mukbangs while eating what I would normally naturally 